This session is aimed at giving a brief overview of the main research types in, uh, in social sciences. So what are the main research types in social sciences and what are their main characteristics? That is what we will discuss in this uh, presentation. So generally, the main research types uh, in social sciences have been categorized uh, into two main categories, the research types by purpose and research types by method. By purpose actually means categorization of the research, keeping in view the aim or purpose of research. And by method means categorization of research, keeping in view the research design and research methods that have been adopted. So by purpose, we have two types of research, the basic research and applied research. Basic research actually aims at the development of scientific theory, while applied research aims at the application or improvement, the application of the research findings in practical sense or the improvement of practice. So in basic research, our aim is uh, generally not to um, immediately apply the, the results of our research in a practical sense, but actually to aid to our understanding to get better insights into uh, natural or social phenomena and to further and to develop the theories related to social phenomena. While in applied research, uh, although there might be uh, incidents of the development of theory, but the basic aim of applied research is actually to, to get insights into our practices and then to improve the practices. So in other words, applied research is aimed at the application of the findings of research in a practical sense. Now, in terms of method or research by method uh, in social sciences have generally been categorized into three categories, the quantitative research, the qualitative and the mixed method research. The quantitative research is aimed at the quantification of social phenomena. And so it involves statistical analysis and ultimately it aims at the generalization of the research findings. On the other hand, the aim of qualitative research is actually um, understanding, in-depth understanding in context or contextual understanding of the social phenomena, the specific social phenomena uh, in specific uh, situations. So we can say that quantitative research has, um, uh, has the ability to be generalized, the findings of it uh, uh, can be generalized. Well, in qualitative research, the, the basic aim is not the generalization of the research findings, but actually the contextual and in-depth understanding of particular situations. So um, on the other hand, in mixed method research, there is a combination of both uh, the quantitative aspects of research and the qualitative aspects of research. So the combination is also in terms of the aims and process and outcomes. So in terms of aims, um, the aim includes, part of it includes the generalization and the collection and analysis of quantitative data, but the other part also um, aims at in-depth understanding of the phenomena. So generally, um, in a combination, in a mixed method research, generally there is a combination of both quantitative and qualitative um, data and samples and data collection methods and analysis methods. So as a result, the mixed method research goes beyond um, the paradigms of one or another research and its aim is basically practical, very practical and pragmatic approach towards social phenomena. Now, um, the research, uh, so here are some examples 
to elaborate on the, uh, on the types of social science research by purpose and by method. So for example, basic research, um, uh, examples of basic research will include research, for example, that explores the nature of learning or intelligence or teaching. So generally, basic research uh, revolves around questions such as what is the nature of something? Why is it that something is happening? Um, and so the, the, the focus is actually on understanding the reasons and the causes of, of social phenomena uh, rather than the how of it or like how to improve these. On the other hand, applied research is research that aims at improving. For example, if we give examples from, from education, is um, one example is research that the teachers conduct in order to, or, or researchers who are involved, who are interested in improving the practice of teaching, is to, is to conduct a research that aims at improving students' learning or teaching method. So here, uh, although there, there might be some questions of, of what and why, but the focus is actually on, on the how of it. So how can a particular teaching method be improved or a particular situation be improved or a particular social situation be improved? Um, that is something that is the focus of applied research. So as the very name suggests, applied research is generally conducted by practitioners, uh, but it could also be conducted by researchers, uh, by basic researchers whose aim is to actually uh, to apply the findings of their research in practical situations rather than generally to add to the theory of particular fields. Now, examples of research types by method. So examples from quantitative studies uh, will include large-scale surveys in the form of collecting data through questionnaires or through checklists and, and so on, or through observations. Um, similarly, experimental research generally, include, generally involves the quantification of social phenomena. Um, and so we can say that research that involves the quantitative measures of social phenomena um, will be considered as quantitative research. Qualitative research examples include conducting case studies, which actually um, are studies that are focused on understanding particular cases or in, with their contextual detail. For example, if a researcher is interested in studying um, the teaching styles or success of a particular teacher or of a particular school, that will be considered as a case study. Ethnographic studies are actually studies that are conducted on social groups and generally involves the in-depth and long-term uh, involvement of the researcher in the, in the data collection and analysis on the site of research. Similarly, phenomenological research is another type of qualitative research that is aimed at understanding particular, especially psychological situations through the perceptions or, or through the personal experiences of the participants. And similarly, grounded theory um, approach where the findings of the research um, lead to the development of theories, or in other words, the theories that, that are developed in grounded theory are actually outcomes of the, uh, of the data analysis, the data collection and analysis. So generally in grounded theory approaches, um, it is not theory testing, but theory development based on the data that is coming. And similarly, narratives is another form of qualitative research where uh, stories, personal stories of limited number of, of participants are analyzed and then um, uh, there are themes that come out of, of those stories. And so these are in the form of narratives and that is why 
this is called narrative. So these are some main examples of qualitative research. Of course, there are several other examples of both quantitative and qualitative uh, research studies. In mixed methods, what happens is there are generally combinations of both quantitative uh, data collection analysis uh, methods and samples and qualitative samples and data collection and analysis methods. So generally it happens that in mixed methods research uh, there is a combination or there are parts of the study that include quantitative parts and qualitative parts and that is why such studies are called mixed method uh, research. So this was a general overview of the main research types in social sciences. And so to summarize, social science research has been categorized into two main categories, research by purpose and research by methods. Research by purpose has been categorized into basic research and applied research. And research by method has been categorized into three categories, the quantitative research, the qualitative research, and the mixed methods research.